we think about it, all transactions that we do at this particular moment go from person to node, person to node, whether it's person to the bank, or person to credit card company, or cash to uh, merchant, or whatever. It's person to node. So the nodes are attacked. The idea the system has a node. So Target gets attacked, okay, in the United States. It's credit card system, because it's a node. The idea of Bitcoin or others is can we have a transaction system in our society that doesn't have a node? It sort of has person to person. And transactions are going person to person. A diffuse system without a node. Okay, and that's a very interesting question. And, the, and so, or who the node is, or how many nodes we have that are completely different from the nodes we see now in terms of transacting. Bitcoin is the future, or is it infrastructure? And the question is, it's the node. The node in a system of clearing the transactions that we have. So I think that blockchain, the idea of a chain of transactions, the blockchain methodology that was introduced by Bitcoin, the Bitcoin idea, essentially say, let me record a block, a transaction, and then create a chain of transactions. And we will have the user community, the diffuse user community, create a way to verify that the next transaction in the chain is a valid transaction. And we can also create a methodology to know that that chain of transactions that we have stored is actually true and valid and cannot be hackable. And that uh, was really one of the most fascinating inventions that has occurred. In a lot of ways, I think the Bitcoin invention or what it showed could be one of the most amazing inventions of this uh, century in terms of what it can, will do to my finance areas. So basically, the idea of our society and what we're doing is the following. Everything I learned and believed in was clearing transactions. We have accounting, is a T account, the old T account, having a liability and an asset. And what you do is you have a transaction, a debit and a credit. And that's it. The banks clear transactions. Other entities, credit card companies clear transactions. Merchants clear transactions. Send, give you cash, the transaction is gone, right? But that's a snapshot. That's a snapshot. And can we see finance and big data moving from a snapshot to a movie? The movie is the sequence of transactions. And a sequence of transactions have a tremendous amount of different information about a client, a customer, than a snapshot. Because a snapshot, you know, you throw it in your, in your, in your photo box or whatever and look at it occasionally, but you don't have any sequence and knowledge of what happens. So the sequence of transactions moves you from a world of transacting and transaction processing, which all infrastructures of banks are set up to do at the current moment, the whole infrastructure of the system, the ordinance generals in the system, have no interest in what the data are telling them other than to make sure that it clears. Okay? And the interesting thing is then, the other hand, merchants and customers, all of us, want to have the movie. Because with the movie, or the sequence of transaction, we can move from a world of transaction processing to transaction analyzing. What are these transactions telling us about the wants of our customers? What are the transactions telling us about what we can provide in services and products for Mr. Smith, or Mr. Wong, or whatever it is? So all these things are information that create the movie, which has a much richer possibility uh, for us. So the idea of, um, of really thinking about it is the following. Who controls the ledger? The ledger is the key. The ledger is the record. Who controls the records? Do the banks control the records? Does, uh, does Ali, Ali, Alibaba control the records? Or does Bitcoin uh, or the marketplace as a world control the records? Okay. 
So the idea, if the records are controlled by an information network, then that is so valuable to merchants and customers of merchants or entities because basically the information gives them a way to analyze the sequence of transactions and think about what the consumer wants and that particular consumer wants, not trying to guess through a product focus what the consumer wants.